Okay, it's telling us it's recording. Yes. All right, good. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're the Book Cougars, two middle aged women on the hunt for a good read. I'm Emily. And I'm Chris. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year, everyone. It is the middle of January ish, and it's our first video of the year here on YouTube. And we just wanted to say hi and um, let you all know, for those of you who subscribe, you may have noticed that our first two episodes of the year we put up on YouTube as just the audio. So it's there with the static image. And we just wanted to let you know that that won't always be the case. We do plan on doing a video every other week um, on our off weeks from the episode um, just to keep in touch. Right. But we thought we would start doing this in 2022, of putting the audio of the podcast up just as another way that you can consume. Is right. that the right way to say it? Yeah. Consume the podcast. Yeah. We, we've seen other podcasts do it. So we thought we'd give it a try and, and see what um, you all think. If you do listen that way, let us know. Yeah. Interesting to know. Put something in the comments. It would make us happy. <laughs> and we have a big announcement, which we yes. made on episode 147 that we have decided our, well, we should say our theme. Yes. Our read along theme for 2022. We always do a read along each quarter. And so the, for the last two years, we've had themes. Um, one year it was translated fiction. Uh, last year it was nonfiction that we read. And this year we're going with indigenous writers. Right. And we picked our Q1 read along. Da -da -da. A Snake Falls to Earth by Darcy Little Badger. Yeah, so we went around and around about the theme, but we, we landed on Indigenous writers because Emily and I both have read, um, you know, a fair amount from Indigenous writers, and we wanted to have it be more of a focus this year. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm reading Louise Erdrich's The Sentence nice. right now. So, awesome. Yeah, and Darcy Little Badger, her first book was A Lotso which was, uh, what is the 100 best fantasy, fantasy novels, novels of all time spoken by Time Magazine, I believe. Yes. Oh, and it, it, so and it was also an ALA rainbow book list, top 10, and American Library Association is ALA, um, and a national indie bestseller. So this is her new one that just came out. Right. That one we were just talking about was a lot. So this one, A Snake Falls to Earth, is her second book available now. Yes. And we wanted to point out that um, you want to check out underneath the dust jacket on this one because it does have some surprises underneath. Yes. yes. <laughs> Very cute. So we're, we're assuming that these are related to the characters and uh, the story in the book. I love how it's got, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got like little white highlights for different parts of them, glasses or feathers in their hair, toes. Yeah. And then this is hard to see on camera, but the end papers here, if you could see that, it has kind of like a snake skin print. Yeah. I don't think you can see that. It's hard to tell. We'll go super close and see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't... It, you kind of have to feel it. Yeah. Um, it has a really neat feel to it so we just wanted to point that out I love it when you can open take off the dust jacket and find a surprise underneath I know sometimes it makes me wonder if there have been books I've read particularly the ones from the library right that yeah. are taped all all yeah. taped up that you can't that there are these wonderful surprises underneath it's a good point the last book I remember is the shadow box by Luann Rice that yeah great they had a beautiful yeah. uh, hard cover artwork so we have three copies, which is super exciting. Thank you to the um, publisher. So we're going to do a giveaway. Yes. And if you're subscribed to our newsletter, you're automatically entered to win the giveaway. Yeah, to enter, uh, to subscribe to our newsletter, if you're not already, we'll put the link below. Um, but it's just going to our website and entering your email address. We only send one email a month. It's usually just a newsletter letting you know what's going on and what's coming up. Right. And um, we don't do any kind of spammy, annoying stuff. We hope it's not yeah. annoying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so just some dates for that. If you could enter to win or subscribe by February 26th, that's the day we're going to pick the winner. We do a random number generator and then we choose that number 
of subscriber, right. which has been working well for us now for five years. We will be having a Zoom discussion too about the book, and we'd love to have you join us. That discussion will be on February 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. There's plenty of space still open. It's a very relaxed conversation. Everybody participates. It's not, you know, I don't know what, like hoity-toity or anything. (laughs) We just want everyone to talk about the book. I always learn new things about the book. I come away with a different perspective on on something I've just read. I love it. We have great readers and listeners. Totally. And if you're on the shy side too, you don't, don't feel like you're going to get called on. Right. Neither of us like that kind <laughs> no, of stuff. So, um, and just send us an email, bookcougars at gmail.com. If you want to be part of the zoom discussion. Right. And then we'll be having our conversation on the podcast on episode 150, which will drop on March 1st, 2022. And if you do have comments or questions that you'd like us to talk about and explore, um, please send those to us by the 22nd of February so we can, um, you know, have them by the recording date. Right. And we also have a Goodreads thread open in our Goodreads group. So if you haven't joined our Goodreads group, go for it. Those discussions are always fun. People put links to different information about the author or things they've learned as we're reading along in the books. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the author. All right. Yeah. Darcy Little Badger. Here she is. This is her picture. If you go to her website, she's got a very cute picture of her dog. And she's uh, in the Lipin Apache tribe. No. Do you say tribe? I think so in in the United States. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just say it. Well, because, you know, that's the thing. That's one of the reasons we wanted to explore Indigenous writers is because in Canada, um, Indigenous people are usually referred to as First Nations. Right. And the United States, it's been Native American. I've heard American Indie and as well. So what we're going to be trying to do as we go through this year is find out how the person refers to themselves because that's what matters the most right I mean on her website it says Darcy Little Badger is a Lipin Apache Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure that she would attach nation or tribe or even people right you know so um, she has a PhD in oceanography so snake falls to earth I'm interested is there going to be some water in here we'll find out Um, Mm -hmm. and I don't know much about the book. Do you know much about it? I don't. I haven't really looked into it because I just want to pick it up and start reading. And yeah, I've been really enjoying doing that with more books. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like to read the dust jacket. That's kind of how I am. I feel like lots of times they have too many spoilers. They do. Or, or the introduction, like even with a classic, like when you know the general story, mm-hmm. you read the introduction sometimes and it's just like, what, what are you doing? Like right. you're telling not only like, plot spoilers but like character motivation spoilers right which right is yeah too many gives so. give, not your chance to re- rewrite the story and or not rewrite it but retell it right yeah. yeah you just want a little opinion here yeah so I guess that that was a bit of a rant but you know <laughs> no it's yeah. true so we we read enough about it to know that this was a book we wanted to read as yeah. a group but we don't know spoilery things well about. yeah and one thing one reason we picked it too is since her first book was so popular We figured this book would have good distribution in uh, public libraries for people to be able to get it or audio digital. It is only available in hardcover at this time. Right. Yeah. But it also was nominated for a National Book Award. So it should be available in lots of library systems. Yeah. We did look for that. So totally. All right. right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you have any recommendations for Indigenous writers, whether it's just a book or an author in particular, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, the comments below. And also, we're going to have a Goodreads thread on our year of Indigenous reading as well. Yes. So feel free to check that out, too. All right. All right. Bye. Happy reading. Take care.